Howdy folks, and welcome back to Death Parade. Today we're going to be watching episode 3, Rolling Ballad Ballad. I unfortunately did not look up the pronunciation of this word. Uh, I did, however, look up the definition of the word, and it seems to be a either a short poem, like a short three stanza poem, or a short little musical composition. So maybe we're going to get... Um, the death of a couple artists or something like that, some poets, uh, or a poet and somebody else. Who knows? I'm pretty sure we're going to get another death game here uh, today, and I'm really excited for that. Um, yeah, I don't have too, too much to say. Uh, last episode was kind of a, a recap of the first, but from a different perspective and with a little more information given on uh, what they do over there at Queen Deccan. Uh, so now that I know all that, I'm ready to watch them judge some more souls. Uh, but last time I was talking about my desire for some kind of a cocktail or beverage, seeing as how this is set in a fancy upscale bar. And while I did not make a cocktail, a local brewery of mine did, um, just put out this Irish stout. I'm going to try and turn the label away so you can see more of the beer. Uh, this is not matching glassware, but, uh, hey, what can you do? It is from the same brewery, though, uh, but a, uh... A dry Irish stout, brand new from them, uh, just canned a couple weeks ago and just uh, freshly put out in stores. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be drinking during this uh, during this reaction. Hope it's not too against YouTube's uh, terms of service, but hey, like I always say when it comes to stuff like this, if Red Letter Media can get away with it, so can I. Uh, but yeah, so I am excited to hop into this. So as I scooch over, I would just like to thank you real quick for uh, uh, for checking out this video. Uh, for leaving a like and subscribing to the channel, doing all the YouTube things. Appreciate it a lot. Uh, and uh, without further ado, let's get started with uh, Death Parade Episode 3. Rolling. I'm deciding that it's pronounced Balad. Starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. The beer is quite good, by the way. Oh, that was a really, really short uh, before the OP started. Like, maybe the shortest I've seen so far? My goodness. I'm less than 30 seconds into this thing, and half of that was the uh, uh, the crunchy roll thing. Oh, do we not see them come off the elevator this time? Uh, something I definitely wanted to do was to uh, kind of check to see who comes down on which elevator, so to speak. So do they know each other? Because that was one of the things I was wondering, whether or not we would actually get complete strangers kind of meeting in the bar like this. So does she have a name now? Do you remember anything? Yep. So I see that this is probably going to play out much the same from episode to episode, right? Oh, were they like strangers on a bus that crashed? But is that a lie? I don't know. I don't trust anybody. I still don't trust anybody. Second. Three. Maybe this can be my thumbnail as I'm holding up the three right here. So I see we're probably going to get one of these scenes as well. And see, I see how they, I see how the elevators are, but uh, there's no telling where they, uh, how they came down, right? Okay, so maybe she really can't remember anything. Oh, that's new. They did say that the shock of dying kind of causes a bunch of your memories to kind of flee, right? Maybe her death was extra gruesome? Somewhere during it. I don't know. I'm gonna hold off judgment. Just like just like a good arbiter should, I'm gonna wait. What do we got? Is it bowling this time? It is bowling, okay. So I was at least right with that prediction. Ooh, yeah, we gotta see that. I forgot, we get a we get a sick transformation scene every time. It's weird seeing as how the last one was just the first one again, basically. 
I really hope it's not going to be like deck and bowl. Oh god, am I going to have to pull up like the memes of like <laughs> the video that plays when you get a strike? Absolutely wild stuff. Oh, are those brains in there? Oh, hearts. Ugh. I forgot. In addition to just the... In addition to just the games, it's gotta be like... Absolutely grotesque, right? I suck at bowling. I am so damn bad at, the, at bowling. I haven't been in a really long time, but like, my god, last time I went, it was... Is atrocious. Oh, that's so sick. That's so nasty. But you will... Your heart rates will go up or down depending on, like, how it's rolled, right? Like, you won't feel any pain, but, like, your heart will still pick up on it, right? Oh, God, I hate it. Seems to be a fairly... That doesn't seem that fast. Oh my god. That like literally sent chills down my spine. His balls just starts going... Ooh, that was a really cool shot. Ooh. Not the 7-10 split, like an 8-10 split, right? Wait, just one? Or did they skip his second one because he just missed it? That's so gnarly. I hate it. Now that seems a little elevated. Are they like going to start falling in love with each other throughout the... Throughout the game? Mm, didn't even give her bowling shoes? What kind of an operation is this guy running? His ball just bah, 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 bah. childhood friend, maybe. That they haven't seen each other in a really long time. So maybe they did die in two completely separate locations, but just happened to die at the same time. Because he at least remembers being on the bus. The fact that she doesn't leads me to believe that maybe she doesn't. That's that's about how that's about how it goes when I bowl. Oh, look at them being all friendly. Unfortunately, one of them has to be judged, right? Like they can't both be judged to be decent people, right? Because so far, that's how it seems like it's going. In that case, if there is no decision, maybe he defaults to whoever actually wins the game. I have thrown a strike before, at least, right? I think I have. Before he gets in the wager, I just remembered one time when I went bowling, um, I was I did terrible the whole game, and then on the tenth frame, I roll a strike. This just popped into my head. I rolled a strike. And so I get a second one, and I rolled another strike, and I was like, oh my god, am I about to get a triple strike 10th frame? Because you get, you know, if you roll two strikes, you get like a, a, a third roll, basically, on that one. I got nine. <laughs> I rolled strike, strike, nine, and it, like, ruined my night, because I just wanted to, even though I was horrible the whole game before, I wanted to have that perfect triple strike ending 10th frame, and it just, I was like one pin off, man. I didn't get it. I was upset. I was very upset. It just it, that just flooded back into my brain. Am I dead or something? And my memories are coming back. Every time I see Deckham, I just have to I just have to like look at his eyes. I wonder if that throws off the ball at all. Is she gonna start remembering things? Oh. 
Nice strike, at least. Whether it potentially was together. Nice. Nice score, man. Chisato. Dang, she is good. Oh, I want to hear him say turkey in Japanese. That's what it's called, right? When you get three strikes in a row? A turkey. Ooh, his eyes just narrowing right there. So she hasn't seen his memories, has she? Or both of their memories, has she? Dekim knows everything, right? <laughs> Said not to raise your voice. Mm, I can't wait. This episode's doing a really good job of just like giving you just a little bit. One little step at a time up the up the staircase. Just just to all come crashing down right at the end, like a like a bowling pin. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh, they were on the bus together. Okay. Oh, well, that was an unfortunate time. Oh, what's she going to start remembering? Well, she did it. Uh oh. Oh, she remembers too, doesn't she? She, she's not Chisato? Is she somebody else? I just want to know, man. I just want to know, like, what he said. Hmm. Oh. That's tragic. They're going to reincarnate him, aren't they? Well, I, I guess that's, that's where I'd be leaning right now, I think. He seems to feel genuine regret, right? So technically, he won the game, so we'll see. Oh, but there's some secret between the two of them, isn't there? I forgot. He told her something. <laughs> it's actually gonna be five minutes. Don't tell them. Oh, this is so sad. Hmm. I'm glad we died. Oh. Is there a way that they can both, like, get the good judgment? It looks like they're both good up there. One of them didn't look like they were the devil horns. Okay. So she is somebody else. Oh, her eye? Hmm. Oh, she got oh no. She got plastic surgery to look like the other girl? Oh. Oh no. Oh no, she always had a crush on her on him. 
Oh, man. Yeah, it looks like they both got they both got the the happy treatment though cuz they were both kind of good and wholesome, right? Oh man, that like broke my heart at the end. Curious to see what the uh after credits thing is, but uh even if they don't fully explain, I'm pretty sure I've now that I've picked up on like the uh the faces above the uh above the elevators. Ne. <laughs> I like how he's still like just shining the ball. The heart ball. Yeah, she doesn't still doesn't know who she is, right? Ooh, she put that perfect spin on it. And in heels too, isn't she wearing heels? <laughs> Nice. Okay. Uh, not gonna watch the uh, next on. Uh, we did not get any Nona in that episode. Um, I like that. That was a, a nice change of pace from the first one. Um, while still they were very wholesome and friendly and kind and kind of lovey-dovey with each other throughout the game, uh, the episode still did a really good job of building up the tension, like making you think like, oh no, like what? What do we still not know? Uh, this I feel like this is just a series where just a lack of information about certain things is just going to be like, like huge, right? Like just like one tiny little piece of information that we don't know can lead to like catastrophic uh, 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 happenings, right? So that was good though. I like that they were both like good people, like even though like. Oh, it's just like tragic the fact that she had been pining after him like her whole life and it took both of them dying basically in order to like have a date with each other. Uh, glad they still got the good judgment, the both of them. I'm really glad that uh, now we know for sure that uh, it's not necessarily like one goes to the void and the other uh, gets reincarnated. Like it's not necessarily going to be that way. We could have two people straight up just get sent to the void each time, right? Um, yeah, I uh, there was no reason for any of them to be uh, to to be sent into the void to to die forever, right? Because they were both, I don't know, they both just seemed like good guys. I was afraid that it was gonna come out that like he had, you know, done something bad or something like that, or that he had said something like bad to her, like right like before the crash happened or something like that. But uh, no, it just seemed like you know he just wanted to go talk to her. She's always had the crush on him. You know, the plastic surgery thing is a little like, oh, that's just heartbreaking and, and like just really, really sad. But like just the fact that like, you know, like I said, it took both of them dying to finally talk with each other. And that's just man, that's just tragic. Right. That's not how it works in real life. Right. Uh, so, uh, yeah, good episode. Um, the after the initial like shock of like the heart ball and like putting the hands, the fingers in the holes and like, ugh. After that initial kind of shock, like, there was no real, like, uh, gross-out gore kind of horror kind of stuff happening. Like, that all kind of just, like, faded into the background, right? Occasionally, they'd say, like, oh, the heart's racing or something like that. Or him saying, like, ooh, I gotta help control my heartbeat a little bit. Uh, it didn't get... It was nowhere near as gruesome as the game in the uh, in the first episode, right? Uh, the darts were... The darts were rough to watch, man. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, those first couple shots of the... Uh, of the heart and like sticking the fingers in the holes. It wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, like I said, just like a masterful job of building up tension f up to a, a payoff where, you know, essentially there was no tension. Like the payoff was all your tension is just gone. And it's, it's a, you know, a relatively sweet, good outcome. Uh, I'm assuming probably none of the other episodes are gonna go that way. This is probably just our little, you know, our little, our little happy moment before everything goes horrible, right? Um, but yeah, um, I like that we're getting more of um, Deckham and I still don't think she has a name. I wonder if it's going to be one of those things where she finally like gives herself a name or something right at the end of the series or something like that. Or if, you know, maybe halfway through she remembers something or comes up with a name or something like that. Or somebody, somebody who knows something tells her or something like that. I don't know. But I'm glad that we're getting like the two of them and she seems to really be a... Uh, um, fitting in well, at least. Uh, the fact that she, like, 
you know, is so invested in the games, like helping to explain the rules and then like even like the, ooh, tell me what you know kind of thing, right? Um, so yeah, I like the dynamic between the two of them. Uh, I would like to see more of the uh, uh, more of the kind of afterlife attendance, as it were. Uh, like I said, we didn't get any of Nona in this episode, but even the uh, uh, the elevator guy, right, whose name I don't remember, but he, uh, you know, the guy who just always like has his eyes closed and is smiling the whole time. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think in the OP I saw a couple other people as well. A guy with red spiky hair. And uh, maybe one other one. I don't quite remember. Uh, but yeah, uh, good stuff. Uh, good, fun episode. And uh, hey, can't wait to watch the next one. So once again, like I said, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so yet, click the like button. Uh, it really helps me out a ton. Uh, it really, really actually does. I've learned that firsthand kind of recently on my channel. Um, but yeah, and just uh, hey, I'll catch you next time with some more Death Parade. Take it easy, everybody.